Hey, this time let's take a look how you can build a CMS form and store form submissions straight into your Y code collection. Let's start by creating a new collection. I'll call it submissions. We can now create the fields for the data we want to collect. So we can go to add field. I'll choose type email and give field name of email address. Create field. I'll add one more field for link. We'll name it tool URL. And one more text type of field for category. When you're done with fields, we can now go into canvas, open the page you want to place your form in, select the layer, add elements, and choose form. Form element comes with some default structure. It has input for the email, text area for the message, and button. Inside, you will also find success and error messages that you can preview via settings sidebar, and you can also style it in design properties. For now, let's click on the form layer. In settings, you will find form actions. By default, it has send email action that we can get rid of. Let's add a new, choose CMS, and choose a source collection that we just created, submissions. Let's now set up a form with the fields that we created in the collection. I won't need field for the message. And for the email, I'll click on the input. In settings, I'll match it with the field from the collection that we created, email address. Inside the form element, I'll add one more input field. We'll rename label to tool URL. Then click on the input. In the settings, we'll match this field with tool URL field. We'll drag the button below it and add block. And inside the block, we'll add radio. For the radio, let's choose field category and add few options. So there are two inputs to fill in here. Label will be displayed visually in your project and value will be stored in a collection. I'll now add website builder as an option. We'll keep label and value the same. We'll add stock photos. UI kits and fonts. We can now go on the block element that covers radio. In design properties, I'll choose display, grid, and two columns. We'll give it a gap of 20 pixels and we'll move it above the button. So the last thing we could do is rearrange the order of inputs. I'll collapse these layers and drag email above the button. In the form, I'll also add separator that I will place above email. Let's now go into preview, open the page in a new tab and fill in the form. Submit the form. Here is the success message. And if we now go back into project, CMS, submissions collection, refresh data, and here it is. Email that I filled in, tool URL, and a category. That will be it for this time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.